Catch a vibe with Big Hass only on Pulse. Pulse 95. And we are going to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace, love, and blessings, ladies and gentlemen. Big Hass right here on Catch a vibe. Hopefully, you guys are having a blessed Sunday. Catch a vibe airs every Saturday on Sunday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I want to shout out all the musicians, all the song, uh, songwriters, the singers, the artists, the poets. Shout out to you guys. Over 80 plus episodes right now, and it's been a blessing to get to know you. I say this because same as yesterday, um, my guest today is, I, I meet them for the first time today. And what's incredible about Catch a Vibe is I use it as an opportunity to, to get to know them on a human level. Okay? She's an amazing you know, uh, you know, singer. She has a beautiful voice. But I want to get to know her even more. What inspires her? What, what makes her feel? Um, how does she deal with the, with, the, with the letdowns? Why did she get into mute? All these questions and more. Uh, we're going to answer that. The important thing, and I think why this is special tonight for me, is because this is like her first interview, can we say? Her first interview. She's nodded. And, and it, first radio interview. And we're about to debut her debut song, on the radio. So that for me, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's put our hands together for Isla. We're going to say salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. How are you, sister? I'm good. Super excited to be here. I am super excited. So first question is this. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you just dropped your, um, about a month ago, your debut single called uh, At The Eat, which we're going to play. I'm going to talk about that. But take me before that. How did the story of music and Isra come about? Did you, like, did it come to you or you pursued it? Tell me all about that. Mm, It's both, actually. It did come to me and I did pursue it at the same time. I loved singing ever since I was a kid. I used to sing in school when I was in uni. It was something that's always been within me and I wanted it to be my career eventually. I did try to distract myself, however. I get a job here and there. Maybe it's not a full-time thing. But... It was my dream and it was calling me. And I, wherever I, I went, every other way led me to singing. SubhanAllah. So, yeah. uh, I kind of want to talk about what you just said. What was it about music that, le- like, why was it? Did you hear someone that impacted you? Why did you want to get into that? Why did you love singing? It's always been part of my life. I don't know. Family, I, for example, were playing music. Not really. I mean, okay. my dad loves listening to music. It was always played in our house okay. ever since we were what, kids. What kind of music? Like, give me like. Abdul Halim. Aywa. Ah, oh, nice. One of my covers, actually, my favorite cover was Ahwak. Yes. It's because it's one of my dad's favorite songs. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Abdul Halim. Yeah. Mm. So, oh, that, that those are like legends right there. Oh yeah. Um, so that's why, obviously, you got into music. That I the got house into music was, because it. It was always part of me. Mm. It was, it was like, it's like I was born with that. Uh, as, as somebody who's, who's Arab, and obviously Arab parents and Arab, everyone who's Arab right now would listen. Like, anytime we make a discussion about being creative and music, the parents go like, huh, hmm, mm. hmm. Did you face that like with, with the family? I mean, it's like no one in our family is an artist, okay. a real artist. Okay. Um, but I don't know. It wasn't as difficult as you would think it was. Uh, okay. So bless them. I mean, as long as you're keeping your boundaries and you have your own limits and they trust you. So. صح. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that that's important. I think what you just said is 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 important. What what was it? Now we are about to play. Obviously, your 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 single. I can't wait to talk about it even more. Okay. But what what made you take the decision to release a debut song for you? Like no covers. What made you get out of that? Mm. I had a full-time job and I left. I, I used to work in a theater. Theater. So we used to host artists and yeah. young artists yeah. and developed artists. Yeah. Uh, so that made me feel jealous in a good way. Okay. Like I don't want to be behind the scene. I want to be on stage. Yeah. So I left. Okay. And then um, I started pursuing it as a full-time thing. I wanted to connect with people from mm-hmm. the field. Mm-hmm. And it happened that uh, I met Pop Arabia. I'm Shout so out to Pop thankful, Arabia. so thankful yeah. to Speck mm. for believing in me. Mm. And how how did happened. that, if you don't mind me, how did that meeting happen? Because shout out to them. They're, the work they do is amazing. And obviously you're under them right now as, yeah. you know, as, as a sign artist. And t- tell me, how did that meeting happen? It happened through a friend. Okay, coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. See? It's yes. written. Maktoub. Maktoub. Anjad. <laughs> Things just happen to you at the right time when the universe, God and everything knows that you're ready for it. And they hand it to you, I think. And it's up to you to grab the opportunity. That's crazy. <laughs> um this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to play the full record, um, Adi, on the radio. Tell me about Adi, because I, I really like it. I'm not saying this because I'm on the radio. 
it connected with me a lot. Hmm. It, it took me somewhere. Hmm. Um, but tell me, what, what are you trying to say here? Well, the song is about someone who lost someone they love dearly. Hmm. And all they can do now is just pray for their heart to heal. It's so hmm. beautiful, so sensitive. Hmm. It's so emotional. It is. Yeah. What's the genre that you're pursuing in a way? Uh, I mean, I'm... I'm really exploring right now. Mm. I found myself in, in this genre which we created yes. to do Khaliji indie style. Khaliji indie, like R&B vibe. Yes, right? <laughs> and that's new. Yeah, and I is. love it. And I think um, my second song, which is going to be out in July, is okay. under the same umbrella. And we're okay. still exploring this new genre. And I think people will just love it. You know what's, uh, th- there's something, um, this is kind of the f- obviously the first time we meet, yes. but but there's, there's, um, how do I say this? There's a hunger, but also confidence. And, and, and you know the horse vision? I feel that you have that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thanks. that's how I get. <laughs> and it, 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 it's crazy. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Isra is, um, you know, is an Abu and She drove all the way uh, to Sharjah right here to be with us. That shows hunger. And even, even I, would, I would say it. This is obviously an English radio station. And what you want is to push more on the Arabic side. Mm-hmm. But you're still hungry. You want to yeah. talk about. Yes. You want to talk about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man, love it. Um, talk to me about the process of releasing um, a day, just as a process. Wh- wh- so how it, yeah. it's crazy because I, I I manifested working with Sleiman, who's my producer, best producer. Shout either. out to him, best. Uh, another legend in the game, of course. He is Let's a give him a big one up. He is big one up. He is. Yalla, we're I waiting swear for you. I manifested <laughs> to work with him. Wow. And it happened through another friend who introduced me to Sleiman, mm. and then. Uh, it didn't really happen. We didn't really work together. And then by coincidence, I saw him in an event. Okay. And I reconnected with him. And I'm like, we have to work together. I just, I have to. I got to ask you this. When you told him that, as a producer who worked with so many people, hmm. what what was his... Because, you know, as a producer, you, you get a lot of these, you know, messages and emails. Hmm. And, and, you know, you start picking who you want to work with as well. Yeah. So when you had this conversation and you sat down for the first time, what was that conversation like? I'm always interested about the first... I mean, Sleiman, he got he's you. an amazing human being. He is, he is. He loves sure. working with new talents. Like, yeah. if you visit his Instagram and you see his work, you will see that he did work with superstars like yes. Nancy Ajram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also works with young artists. And Correct. he loves that. Yeah. And that's the difference between someone who just does it for the sake of doing it and someone who does it because they're in love with what they do. Correct. Sleiman is in love with what he does. And he was equally as excited as I was. So mm. that really motivated me. When, when when the song dropped a month ago, mm. take me through the feelings and the emotion that you had as a debut single. It's like, this is your first official yeah. debut. This is you. <laughs> yes. What crazy. was your feelings? <laughs> I was all over the place. And it's crazy because the same day of the release, <laughs> okay. I was recording my second song. Yeah. Yes. Really? And it was all like <laughs> happening all at the same time. <laughs> That's crazy. And I, it was just crazy. And I was super excited and scared. Yeah. And also nervous about recording my second song. Mm-hmm. But then when it came out, I was like, oh, it's just it, meant to be. It is such a beautiful song. What was the first reaction that people got from, from, from it? Like, t- tell me about, especially family and friends. Mm-hmm. What was the reaction of, of the record? Like, what, what sort of feedback you got? Everyone from my side who listened to the song loved it so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much. I don't know if they're saying it just because it's me, but no, really. The song is amazing. It is. Everyone, I received amazing feedback from my friends, from people I know, even from strangers. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're, we're listening to it in the background again. I'm about to play the full version. Do, do you have a favorite um, uh, section in the song? Yes. What is it? Because I'm. Ah. Yes. So beautiful. It's. Uh, yeah. What about if we play it right now on the radio? Let's play it on the radio yes. on, on 95 FM. Let's, let's play do it. it. We want to play it on the radio, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, Isra's uh, debut single. It's called Adi. Shout out to Slayman, uh, Demian, and of course uh, Pop Arabia. Uh, shout out to all the team. I want to talk more about the video and 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 what went on. But this is such a beautiful song, and we gotta support Isra. Thank Show you. love. Show love, ladies and gentlemen. Very talented artist, really humble. The first time I meet her right now. How does it feel that your song is playing on the radio right now? Crazy. I can't believe that's me. (laughs) I really can't believe that's me. Let's play the full version, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be right back. This is Isra with Ed right here on Pulse95.5.
95 Radio. Do not go anywhere. Catch a vibe with Big S. Only on Pulse. Pulse 95. Pulse 95 Radio, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, catch a vibe every Saturday and Sunday from 9 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. We have a very special guest in the, in the building. Uh, her name is Isra. She's from Palestine. Big round of applause for her. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for Isra. Um... As, as a singer, she just released her debut song called Eddie. And uh, we just heard a little bit of it, obviously. And um, it, it is special. Anytime you release your debut project song, it's a special feeling. Um, but, but you said something interesting off air uh, to me. You're like, um, while was this song premiering, I was already working on my next song. There's a, definitely a hunger that you have. I want to know from you why that hunger for like why is it what is it about music that you love because it's like a dream for me it's like, a dream that I'm finally putting my hands on mm. and is it always you you, you chose uh, Arabic I mean, Arabic to, yes, to sing yes, always yes yes absolutely I love Arabic music I love Arabic uh, songs we mm. have every genre Facts. I don't really appreciate or like Arabs who say that they don't listen to Arabic uh, yeah. songs and music, oh. and I have a lot. Some of them are even friends, and I always yell at them because <laughs> we have every genre. It's Correct. beautiful, new artists. I love Arabic music. Um, when someone asks you right now, hey, what are you listening to in terms of as 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 Isra and before when you dropped your your covers, who are the artists that kind of you you were listening to as Isra? Mm, there's so many. Like, give me a couple. I love Majid al-Rumi. Majid al-Rumi. And uh, one of my oh. favorite cover was Bil Alb. Bil Alb. Uh, it's my favorite song. Mm. Uh, I listen to new artists like Zayn. Yeah, shout yes. out to Zayn. Yes. A Dana good friend Khurani. of mine. She's, oh yeah, amazing. Dana Salah. Oh wow. I'm, I'm also. I also like what Al Shami is doing. Yeah. I think he he's creating a new. Oh God, path ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for all these names. Yes. Yeah. You see, our independent and music is really doing amazing. Like in terms of like all these names that you said, uh, they're incredible. Um, and and what's most importantly is that they're reflecting their culture as well mm. in a beautiful way. Yes. Now, when we talk about Isra, we talk about obviously, obviously um, in how do you see the trajectory of the songs you want to talk about? Because with Adi is emotional. Mm. Um, what's the sort of like what's the other song about? Without giving too much of mm. it. Is it in the same direction? Is it only emotions as well? Uh, it's under the same umbrella. You can tell that this artist Isra, is okay. following the same direction. <laughs> yeah. But it's more summary. Summary. Uh, yes. Not like what a vibe. Like yes. what? Afro B. Uh, uh, it has a beat. Okay, it has a beat. <laughs> is it also Slay Man? Yes. Slay Man. Okay. Yes. I don't think I'll ever work. <laughs> I mean, I love working with him. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Bless. I know. I know what it means though. Like because, um, what are you? What's the what's uncomfortable for you in um, because I, I I read that you you kind of took the decision mm. I don't like that word like quote unquote late in mm. your in your career or life but but what is late like what does that mean like you're passionate about it you wanted to release songs and you wanted to address things that you've written not just covers was it hard to get out of that cover mm. scene? only doing covers was that difficult um it wasn't it wasn't like i just wanted to do covers mm. i started mm. doing covers because i just wanted to sing and put myself out there it was a challenge my first cover was during covid and i it was like an opportunity for me um to start working on my music some some way or another i just had to do it you so just I wanted just, to sing yes i just wanted to sing so uh, I didn't have resources. I only I can only sing songs that I know that they already that already exist. So yeah. I chose to sing Bil Alb Majd al Rumi. Yeah. One of my favorite songs. Is sorry, is it on your YouTube channel yes. or no? It's not my YouTube channel, but it is on YouTube. Oh okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll play that. Yes. We would love to play that. It has like six million views. Oh mashallah. <laughs> um, speaking of views and I am just checking and they just crossed one million. Yes. How does that make you feel like uh, like does that make you feel nervous a little bit, pressured? Uh, Unbelievable! I, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. It this is your debut single in, in less than five <laughs> yeah. days. It That's crazy. 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 Uh, for, for, for me, it is crazy. But the question is, do, do you feel? Do, do, do you think right now? Obviously, you're gonna start building a fan base. This mm. is your debut single. People are gonna get to know you because mm. let's face it: when you do a cover. It's not you, it's the artist that you're covering. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So they're not really getting, oh, nice mm. voice, great. But now this is you. This mm. is your record. Um, th- does that give you pressure that this song, five days, six days, one million views? 
it makes me want to work even harder. Yes, enough. And make yeah. more songs. Yeah, Ukhti, where did you get that hunger from? I love it. I just really love the hunger. Can, it's, yeah. uh, I love it because, like what you were just saying, I wanted to say something. I don't think it was late for me. It just happened at the right time. Mm. I had to go through what I had to go through in my past, from jobs to trying here and there to reach this point. Mm. So it happened to me at the right time. The right time. The right time, exactly. You're convinced with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy it's happening now. Nice. Yes. I like that. Uh, but there's a but there's a cool vibe about you. Like I said, it's like the the vibe of hunger, mm-hmm. but also with Mekina, and you're not you just like you know you know what you want, and this is amazing. Um, Thank you. No, seriously, I love that. Uh, in terms of covers, how do you how do you like right now? I want to play a little bit of um, Bella Welashi. Mm. Um, does this song mean to you? Like you, you like the song? I love the song. Listen to the words, to mm. the lyrics. It's beautiful. Bella Welashi. Hello, Allah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ziad Rahbani, a legend. Um, when you decide to choose a cover, and I know you're obviously getting into your, you know, the original songs right now, but let's backtrack a little bit. Take me back to uh, how did Isra choose the covers? Is it a song that you have to like? Songs that I love, not love. just like. Yes. Okay, and, and uh, okay. Every cover is. I chose every cover, Yani. This song, I love the song. I love the song. I know the song by heart. I don't mm. even have to memorize the words. I know them. <laughs> oh, man. The, when you hear Eddie, going back to Eddie, mm. um, what's the, where does it take you as Isra, as the, as the person who's singing the song? Like, where, where that position, is it the, what, what's your, th- where, as, as, as thoughts, where does it take you? Where does your thoughts go mm. when you hear a day yourself? It's difficult to say because if I only describe how the words make me feel so emotional. Okay. Then when I remember that's me, so proud. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love that. I love that. Um, uh, the video, how was the video? Like, shot? take me through that. A uh, so bit. we wanted something simple. Yeah. Because the song is amazing. Yeah. And I love like simple music videos. And it's my first. I wanted the focus to be on the song. Uh, I worked with uh, Anis. Mm. Uh, shout out to Anis. Shout out to Anis. Uh, and it was very smooth. We ended everything in like three, four hours. We finished everything. It was smooth. I had the best team. I was working with the best people. Uh, yeah, it was one of the best days. Uh, you know, uh, when you get into the music mm. business or industry, um, does that... You're now releasing a songs. You have a profile on Anrami, on mm. Spotify, on Apple. I can't believe it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that's I'm my on point. I'm Spotify. You are. Oh, my God. <laughs> I no, did go to their offices <laughs> the same day of my release. See? Yes, it was crazy. It was crazy. That's my point, though. And, and, and here, we have to highlight that because you worked on this song. How much time did it take you to work on this song, by the way? Like, as... Mm. So, choosing the song, mm-hmm. uh, I think it took... Sliman sent me some options, yeah. and uh, I told you before that yeah. I liked the song, but it didn't click with me at the beginning. Kind of grew I, on you. I, Yes, I did go back to him. I was like, what? That song is amazing. And then from there, we just started. Um, Even if you ask uh, Spec, yeah. he would tell you, yeah, the, uh, we, we finished the whole song in a very short time. That means, it's like mm-hmm. you said, it's meant to be. Yeah. Does that... Um, this might be a tough question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she gave me that look like, hey. <laughs> Careful um, with the tough question. The kind of music that is trendy right now mm. is is there's a, there's a style, right? Yeah. Whether it's the Afro beats, whether it's like, you know, the, the real heavy pop. There's a certain mm. music that is trendy. Was that in your mind when you decided to go this route as a debut single? And I'm talking, don't see me as a radio host. I'm saying... As the people, they right. will put you sadly in this box right now, mm. because this is her. The ah, oh, she's like, yeah, this is the slow, this is the vibe, Khaliji R and B. Okay, okay. Th- does that goes on your mind when you're releasing, or you just love the song and release it? I just love the song and I release it. Done. Yeah, mm. I mean, it's also uh, I'm so thankful because I get to explore mm. and I, I get to find my voice and I get to find what works for me Thank and you what for I love. That. Yes, and also what clicks with people. But first, what clicks with me Thank because you. when it's coming from the heart it has better chance to click with people mm, another round of applause right here ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously that it's so rare to see people just dropping their first debut single and and feeling that way mm. i think there's a um a hunger 
for attention all the time mm. and a hunger to be viral quickly yes. and a hunger to be automatically just top and a mm. hunger to be, which is cool to dream, but I mean, it's your first single. Yes. Uh, do, do you realize that it will take you some time for you to be still relevant? I can be impatient sometimes. Okay. But I, I, got I, the f- I love the, okay. I love pa- the journey. But that's what I'm saying. It's a mm. journey. Yeah. Uh, there was a rapper, his name is Nipsey Hussle. He passed mm-hmm. away. He always said that life is a... Mm especially music is a marathon mm. not like a sprint mm. it's a marathon you got to keep running um, you know you have to just keep running it's, it's not yes. from reach point A to point B okay we'll start point B and then what happens keep running <laughs> yeah keep exactly um, man that's amazing uh, let's play let's play the Better Will She record okay. Um, okay. this is one of the covers yes. um, for Isra may I say you have this very sweet cool vibe about you uh, no, that's really cool, and I love the song. I really love it. But listening to it from your voice, it adds a different uh, dimension. Thank you. Seriously. So sweet. No, that is interesting. So, because it's one of my favorite songs, and I think it's a bit of a tough song too, like in my opinion. You know? It's beautiful. Especially this part. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, if you uh, are just listening to it, and I know we are an English radio station, but get introduced to our beautiful Arabic yeah. um, you know, culture. We're going to be taking a break and we're going to be right back. We are with uh, this incredible singer. She's from Palestine, um, based here in the UAE. Her name is Isra. Keep a luck right here. Pulse 95 Radio. Catch a vibe with Big Hass. Only on Pulse. Pulse 95. Pulse. Only on Pulse 95 Radio, ladies and gentlemen. Catch a vibe. I don't know about play something in the background that I'm sure that our own Isla likes this. Do you I know this, Isla? Yes, 47 Soul. 47 Soul in the building. What's amazing about 47 Soul, ladies and gentlemen, is that they created a genre called Sham Step. Yep. Imagine, imagine knowing people, and I know the guys since like 10, 12 years. Oh, wow. They created a genre called Sham Step, which mm-hmm. is like a mix between the Dabke, the, the, the music that we love in the mm-hmm. Bilad Sham, and the uh, obviously the, the dubstep, it's electronic music. Um, the reason why I brought them is because they were visionaries. Mm. And now, before COVID, obviously, they were touring Europe and pushing this music to people that don't understand Arabic like a, at all. Mm. The Debke vibe. Yes. Crazy way. Mm. And, and I wanted to bring that to you. In what way do you think Arabic music is needing the style that you do? Because I, I think it does need. Like, and, I think I, and I salute you for that. But I'm going to be honest with you. You're still at the beginning of the road when it comes to that. This is your first single. Mm. You, you're still pushing your first steps mm. and it's going to get a lot of challenges you're going to get a lot of letdowns oh, I, yes. I'm going to be real with you right because yeah. I, I like you I, I, I care about you and I think it's important what sort of what's the narrative that Isra will add to Arabic music I know it's a heavy question but 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 you know like all the greats whether it's mm. Yad Rahbani whether it's Julia Butrus whether it's the you know the, the, the Majd al-Rumis the, all these artists that we love even the ones that you mentioned the Zains the Dana mm. Salah They've added a narrative, if you mm. see. What does Isra want to add to the music in the Arab region? Mm, that's a tough one. It is. <laughs> Super tough one. Makes me think when these artists, like the big ones, like yeah. Majda Rumi, yeah. do they think about the end of the destination or they just think about the journey while they're doing music? Let's ask them. I'm going I'm to call. <laughs> no. Call Najda. Hey, hello. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm thinking about my narrative right now okay. I'm still new okay. this is these are my first steps mm. as I said I am exploring I'm still finding my voice what works with me I'm so lucky because I'm working with the best people Yeah. people I trust A great team great team mm. who wants what's what's best for me and I trust them and one of them is Slayman mm. he wouldn't even like, he would only send me songs that he thinks I should are sing. good for you. Yes, good for me. And I think with his experience, he knows right now what works on you, what 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 doesn't. Absolutely. Is he honest with you? Super honest. Okay, with that's me. good. He is an honest person anyway. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. other artists as well. Yeah. If there's something he doesn't mm. like, he would tell the you, artist. You need to keep people like that closer to you. Yes. Like you know that that. I'm so lucky. Yeah. Yes. Bless. I'm super lucky because we're, we're we lucky need to have you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky to be here. Oh, bless. Um, what. What is uh we go back to the, something I asked you before mm. the, the as a as a singer and obviously when it comes to songwriting are you into that as well in terms not of not like, yet but one day okay I like that yes what what because I think okay Arabic music is this is why it's a bit there's a singer there's a singer songwriter 
for you, you want to get into songwriting, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but obviously, it's going to take time for you to get into it. You just said, not yet, but I want to. What, what attracts you in songwriting? Like, what, what, you know, obviously, because it's you, right? Mm. Um, do you feel you want to get, you want to go to that journey as well? You want to get into that? Maybe, maybe, if life takes me there. Mm. I mean, I know I, I do have, I am an emotional person. I, I, I love to write, I love to read. So maybe that will make me a songwriter one day. That's <laughs> to cool. write my own songs. Maybe yeah. if something is going on in my life mm. or something that's that means something to mm. me, maybe my the way I would express it is through music. What, what do you play any instruments? Like any anything at all? Not really. I did try piano and guitar. Okay. But I could be very impatient. <laughs> Really? You said that a couple of yes. times. Yes. So I'm like, I want quick results. I blame my school. They never teach us anything in music uh, <laughs> classes. It was a waste of time. Oh, Allah. <laughs> can't name the school right now. I but. can't name the schools, but <laughs> they, but like, let's be real. There, there wasn't real attention on music mm. back then. Yeah. 31, so. Bless you. Mm. Um, Let's talk about that. You're mm. you're you're cool to say your age. I don't know for a lot of sisters out there, you know, it's some, something mm-hmm. they want to talk about. Can we talk a little bit about that? Because of course. It, you know, like no, I mean, I've read somewhere as well that you've the the self doubt mm. with you mm. was 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 something. Mm. How did you get over that? Because I think that's very interesting for anyone listening to us right now. I'm still getting over you're that. Still with I it. do have so many self doubts and so many insecurities that I'm working my way through yeah um, I think everyone, everyone goes does. through these things Facts. it's normal yeah. Yeah. it's us being human human yeah who can hide it best who is the one who wins I love that <laughs> not really wins but would look better in, fr- in front of people yeah um, I, st- I started getting less of that okay when I stopped Uh, caring about people's getting validation mm, from people nice because that was my 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 weakness or the thing that i really needed to work on was i used to make some people the source of my energy yes so when i realized that i should be the source of my energy i shouldn't give that remote control to anyone uh, i took my control back I saw, take it <laughs> And uh, that's where I started believing in myself because mm. I didn't need anyone anymore, any, anymore to tell me, oh, you're good. You can do it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. It means, if it means anything. I know this is the first time we meet, but it's, it's important. It feels honest. Thank you so much. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, I am honest. Like, yeah. I'm crazy honest. But I think with, when it comes to you, I keep circling back. Ladies mm. and gentlemen, again, with Catch a Vibe, this is it. Um, I sit down with an artist. I get to know them on a human level. We play a couple of songs. And then, obviously, they leave the studio. And then I, I start thinking about what we just talked about. This is why I love this um, this show, because it gives me the opportunity. Not everybody's a radio host. But for me, it's it's a blessing to get to know you guys. And everyone is different. Mm. Like yesterday, we had a poet. Um, today, we have uh, a singer that wants to become a songwriter. And she is... You know, obviously from Philistine, based here in the UAE, uh, trying to figure out herself. And this is what I want to ask you. Tell me, the when you, when there's no Pop Arabia, mm. when there's no family, when there's just you and your thoughts, and you just release this song, Eddie, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's out there, what's, what's the thoughts? Like, what goes on your mind? You, I know you're working on the second song, yeah. but when everyone is not looking and you're just between you and yourself, right? Are you happy with yourself oh yes very happy i'm so proud mm. you know i'm proud i feel like i took myself there mm. and i made it happen somehow yeah yeah so of course with the help of others yes of course and being in the right place at the right time and, and working with the best team but i would like to thank myself as well for pushing myself not being for actually walking whilst being scared walking was, while being scared yes I was scared and I kept walking. Man, mm. this is like philosophy right now. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, okay, so there's this Nassin Dunya. It's originally sung by who? Is it? Raghab al Alam. Raghab Alam. I love this song. Now, when you watch the, the, the this is what, like a couple of years ago, mm. when you watch these, what what's the evolution of Isra? <laughs> well, I smile. <laughs> I smile yeah. and. Uh, And uh, this is the start and it will always be there. Maybe in 10 years, I'll look at it and be like, damn, look where I was and where I am yeah. now. And I, lo- I love that you said that. And I think uh, 
But again, see, ladies and gentlemen, there's something about Isra, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you understand Arabic, then you go like, what is it about that voice? And it gets you, okay, I want to find out more. So there's the mystery, but also, I don't know what it is. And I guess we're finding out right now. This is the journey. And this is why this is important, ladies and gentlemen, to support an artist from the beginning of their career. Um, I, I want to say something here, and I want to reply to a couple of people because... Um, I get messages sometimes Isra, mm. uh, saying, hey, you just interviewed this artist, but they just released one song. Why are you interviewing them? I'm like, I want to interview them because I want to show them mm. that, you know, you're on the right path. You still have a long way to go, but I want to give them that. And sometimes I get a backlash mm. just because I want to give them a platform because, hey, what did they do to deserve, to deserve an interview? It. To deserve it. To, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, but th what they did, I'm looking at you at the camera, is they, they took that step. Yeah. And it's it's hard. It's not to easy it's to not take easy. that step. Even That's what I'm saying. if in front of the world it's one step. Yeah. But in my world, mm. thousands of steps. Yeah. See, big round of applause right there. <laughs> we're shouting out Asra. So let's play the full version uh, of Nasini Dunya, and we're gonna be right back with our last segment with Isra. You wanna text us? Please do so. Four two one five. This is Isra. Um, uh, definitely check her out. E S R A. We're gonna be right back. Keep a pulse. Catch a vibe. With Big Hess, only on Pulse, Pulse 95. Pulse. Ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating an artist uh, today. Her name is Isra. Uh, she's amazing, um, incredible, very sweet, but also con um, collected. That's what I get about her. And tell, yeah, that's what I get. Seriously, sweet, collected, um, knows what she wants. What I love about you, Isra, is that you really don't care about what people think. Uh, <laughs> that shows. I mean, uh, you know, this is what I feel because you're like, okay, you know, I have a new sing, I have a, you know, I have a new song, I'm trying it out, I'm trying out a new, uh, a new sound. This is a, still a journey for me. You know where you at, Sarah. And I think that is really important. Speaking on that, and as we're listening to the background with Ada, of course, go check it out, go stream it. Um, when, I know you just dropped this a month ago, but what's the plan with the second song? Like what's what? Tell me about it. What do you want to know about? Hey, yeah, that's crazy. What do you want to know? The management is gonna be like, hey, 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 cut, cut, cut it yeah, right now. Cut it, cut it now. <laughs> no, no, but well, I can say the name of the song. You can. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Can I? Yeah. Yeah. Leila al Mtgharib. Leila. Leila al Mtgharib. Leila al Mtgharib. Whoa. Right. What? Right. Wait, wait. Leila al Mtgharib. Tarjim. Yalla taal. How do we tarjim that? I have no idea. Leila al Mtgharib is like the night of the no. But what, what do you mean Bilal al Like, what's the song about? <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we, we can't go there. <laughs> well, it's, let's say it's um, it's as emotional as Adri. But summary. But summary, said. Okay. yes. Ooh. More fun. More fun. Yet emotional. In a different way. Yes. Okay. The, the, which one you had fun more recording? Uh, <laughs> let me, like, the um, the second song when I recorded it, yeah. it, was, it was the same day of the release. Yeah, so I know. my mind... I, my mind was <laughs> all, was over. all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I did well. Okay. Until I heard that. I'm like, okay, mm. I did do well. And shout out to Zena, my vocal coach, who shout built uh, confidence between me and my voice. Amazing. So, that's yeah. important. Mm. Um, that's amazing. Uh, I want to play a song and I want to see your reaction. It's an old song by one of my artists, uh, one of the artists I like. I'm not sure if you would know it or not. I'm, I'm sure you do. But let's we're going to get your reaction right here if you're watching on YouTube. Um, who that? Of course. Delida, huh? A fan, huh? Oh, she's a fan. That's great. Okay, that's great. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You know why I'm playing Delida? Because I, I, you notice I played 47 Soul. Play the Delida. Yeah. Because I'm getting vibes from you, Isra. Mm. You, you want to start something new that's not really done a lot in the Arab region. And, and these people have done that. Like they started mm. something. Not a lot of them, you know, they didn't follow a trend. Mm. They didn't do something that has already been done. They didn't do... It. So I'm guessing, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. I'm manifesting. <laughs> Please follow what your heart tells you. Oh, yeah. Because you're going to get a lot of no's. Mm. You're going to get a lot of like, hey, no, what is this song? You're going to get a lot of that. Mm. If you stop from the first no or the first whatever not liking and start changing to suit how people and mm. the industry is, mm. you're going to lose yourself. That's a, that's a guarantee. Yeah. That's what scary. do you think about what I just said? It's scary. It is scary. Yeah. I do sometimes 
um, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm sometimes not realistic, but I do sometimes think the world is better than it is. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I trust myself and I trust my mm. the strength I built within me. Another tough question for you. Mm. There's a lot of things going on in the world, right? Um, a lot of you know bad things. And yeah. what, do you see yourself talking about that of later course. on? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Because Nina Simone said it best. Mm. You know Nina Simone. Mm -hmm. um, she's an amazing, legendary artist. She said that an artist's duty is to reflect the times mm. around them. Of course. For for me, it's tone deaf sometimes to see artists doing something and the world is going through something. Yeah. Because entertainment is entertainment, but also you got to reflect where the world coming in. Yes. The question is, with the type of music that you do, it's about emotional connection, forgetting. Do you feel yourself also getting into that where you elevate? Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you see it on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, there's a face. There is this, this assurance. You see that? Yeah. Like, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. It's part of who I am mm. as a human, okay. not where I'm coming from. Okay. okay. I care about others. And art, whatever it is, whether you sing or play an instrument, yeah. you're a poet, it's a way f of, for you. You're lucky to have it. You're fortunate to have it to express yourself, Fly. but also to express what's happening what's around you. It's around your tool. It's, it's your tool. tool. Yeah. It is mine, but it also belongs to the world. Um, social media and Isra, are you friends? I'm starting to be. Oh, starting yes, to be. Well, I'm after, after the be. first single? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, sometimes I am a very private person. Yeah. But I, I do, now that I have my song, yeah. I do love to put it yeah. out there yeah. and share it with people. Talk about it. I'm still building my social media. Of course. Platforms, yes. The fan base. Yeah, um, with, when Adai went on, mm -hmm. what's the feedback that you got that connected with you? Like other than, hey, nice song, I like the song. It's different. You got that? Yes, something we've never heard before. Nice. Yes. That must make you feel great. Great, amazing. And I, I, I also agree. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, Allah. Um, no, I love that. I received many beautiful comments from people. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think that, that it's a different one is the one that you should focus on. Because mm -hmm. this is the path I feel with you. From the beginning of this interview, I feel that. Um, hmm. If someone, if I have the power in my phone right now, to call any artist in the world, mm. right? <laughs> any artist to have a feature with you, anyone. Okay. Who would it be? I think I would love to sing Bil Alb with Majd Al Rumi. Ya Allah. Yeah. It's my favorite song. This is your favorite song? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. Okay, wait. One second. We're doing this live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're doing this live and we're taking a break. Why is your favorite song? I love that. What, what, the what? words. Okay. He's like. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It takes me to another place every time I listen to it. And that's why it was my first cover. It was your first cover. Yes. Um, so this is the, the incredible legendary uh, <laughs> Majid Rumi. Just we're going to take Isra right now to a world that she likes. Um, because I agree. Oh, you know what? I <laughs> agree. Oh. I think it's an underrated song for her. It is. Very much. Because people go for Kelimat. Yes. And people go for the, what's the other song called? There's another song. Hmm. Which one? I don't know. There's another song. But yes, Kelimat but is Kelimat very is famous. Like, yes. Yeah. But this one is underrated. Yeah. But see, that shows a lot. See why I'm trying to do, to dissect <laughs> who you are. It's like, this is one of the most underrated songs for her. I love it. One of the best songs for her. It's your first cover for a reason. Yes, I love it. I wanted a song that I love mm. and comfortable with. And I know the words by heart. It was the first song that came to my mind. Al Astura Majid Rumi. Yeah. This is Isra. Maybe you guys will collaborate Maybe together. Maybe one day Maybe. I can sing Bil Alb with her. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really amazing to dream. You know, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, when we talk about Palestine, um, Isra, mm. who's like a, your favorite Palestinian artist? Like someone you, you like, listen to now or in the, even before? A anyone you have in mind. Like, you know, someone you used to listen in the house or like, you know, or now. Oh, my God. Anyone at all. Like, like for example, you, you talked about uh, Dana Salah and we talked about uh, Zayn. Oh, yeah. And, and, but also there are, um, there's a guy called Aziz Maraka, if oh, you know yes. him. Yeah. Aziz Maraka. I like Aziz Maraka. Yeah. Um, I like Rula Azar, Farai. for example. Yes, I like Farai as well. You like Al Farai? Oh, I love Al Farai. What? Tala is a friend of mine. Yeah. 
بيشرب حواريكي يو 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 نو واي يو ذا ذاتس اميزنج ذات يو لايك ا فري سي ذس از اولسو واي اتس سمثينج انيكسبكتد ام يو ار انتو ا لوت اوف تايب اوف ميوزك اي فيل لايك ايفن هيب هوب اند ار ان بي اند sometimes rap cool yeah Do you have a favorite? I love Soulja now he's up and coming he's amazing he's friend doing of mine, great another friend of mine yes. Soulja what yeah. yes you're shocking me right now like I mean, I'm I mean <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool I mean it's, it is it is when you, you think it's different than when you listen look I'm going to be honest with you um, and this is a big discussion towards the end we're getting into that There is an um, image about the pop in Arabi, mm. right? When we talk about Arabic pop, there's an mm. image. Mm. Uh, image that is, خلاص حبيتك حبيتيني خنتيني شلتيني. But that's changing. No, that is changing. It's not I'm the telling. Case you. But it's people like you who are changing mm. it. Yeah. The people in the past. So like me. No, mm. I mean, you know, you you you're part of that wave of changing. Yes. Because Absolutely. خلاص they forgot the whole record label stuff. Mm. Sing about this. Now it's becoming. I want to be more relatable. Mm. So I'm even even the ones that sing Arabic pop, they're now going down to the level or up, whatever. They're singing the streets. Yes, and that's why many new artists are shining yes. because it was actually missing. Yes, yes, hundred yeah. percent. Mm. And I think it's it's important. And that's what I said. There is a perception about what is Arabic pop, right? Mm. We talk about Arabic pop. What is it? For me, for example, back in the day, there was a guy called Hamid Shari, mm, yeah. who I'm a big fan of. <laughs> yeah. He is visionary yeah. in what he was able to do, right? Yeah. Uh, Omar Khurshid, if you mm. you know, like the, you know, incredible. So. Um, Omar Khairat, for example, I love Omar Khairat. He's an incredible mm. pianist, uh, legendary. So there's so many names. I mm. think they get diluted in the whole Arabic pop. Yeah. Um, but it's not towards the end. I'm put the music down because I want to say thank you uh, for coming through from Abu Dhabi, a two hour and a half drive. Where is that Rana applause? Two I hours and a half so drive. So much fun. Um, traffic, crazy traffic. Crazy traffic. Yes. Um, so two things at the end. Mm. Um, what's one thing you want to tell your younger self? Like, let's say, you, you know, you can see your younger self mm. right now, five years you know, ago. I would hug her and tell her I love you. Mm. You're going to be fine. It might get difficult, but you will always get through it. Just keep going. Allah yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, what's one thing you look forward to? to in the next let's say three or four years Wh- where do you want to be in three four years make more music mm-hmm. uh, connect with more people okay and just make more music yeah more music yeah just make more music Fe- features sing live sing live yeah that's uh, can we talk about that like are you good are you do you want to perform live i would love to but not now, not now but okay. one day soon yes okay. when i have maybe like five six mm, more yes records five six more records a small ep i would be uh, more ready to sing i want to sing my songs okay yeah what is something that we don't know about isra like something that mm. not a lot of people would know about isra like whatever it is maybe whatever <laughs> You like g- g- grapes. I, I don't know. <laughs> I love grapes. <laughs> I drink green juice every... I go to the gym five times a week. Five times a week? Five days a week, yes. Five, five wow. times a week, yes. Bam. Okay. That's something. That's something. My friends know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I love my, mo- my mom's food. I can't cook. I can't swim. Yeah, mm. I would sink. Ooh, I no. can't swim. I can't swim. I don't oh, like the water. God bless. I'm God. scared of God bless the you. sea. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that song should be about the sea. No. No? no I'm scared. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, wallahi, Allah, I I had so much fun just getting to know thank you. Thank you so much for um, having me. No, I had thank, so much fun. No, seriously. W- w- what do you want to end with for the people listening? Do you want to end with the, the Majid Rumi record? Okay. Or or do you want to select any song? Any any song that you have in mind we can play? Mm. Anything at all? Ahwak. Ahwak? The, the, your cover? Either or, my or cover the original. or the original. I love my cover and I love the original. <laughs> Both are amazing. Let, let, you know what? Let's do the original. Okay, okay? let's do it. Let's do the original. Give, give Abdel Halim Ham oh, uh, yeah. an homage. One of and the best songs. Mm, I love be- it. Beautiful song. Yeah. Um, anything you'd like to say to anybody watching or tuning in, what do you tell them? Your fans, your friends, your family, um, what do you tell them? Listen to Adri. Mm? It's available everywhere, so you don't have an excuse. Facts. <laughs> And look forward to the next one and keep dreaming and keep pursuing your dreams. You will eventually get there with hard work and consistency. Believe in yourself even if the whole world is asking you to stop. I wish someone told me that. I mean, see, I can launch another interview right now. Believe in yourself, yes, but I mean, 
you 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 have to be convinced from within yes. Isra and Inti, you wouldn't believe if you're خلاص. not convinced yeah 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 if you're convinced from within you then it don't matter what people think like it you know it wouldn't but some people need to learn that 100%. they need to learn that mm. other people somehow but i mean look at you you dropped your first single this is it in the background go check it out right now sing along tell him Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, our time is done. Thank you, Isra. What's your social media handle, real quick? It's Isra Official. Isra Official. It's Isra Official. It's Isra Official. Yeah. Definitely go follow her. Go check her out. Right now, Thank we're going to go to the incredible Abdul Halim with Ahwak. I love you guys. We'll catch you guys next week. Asra, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Allah so much fun. God bless you. Um, incredible interview. One of my favorite. Uh, see you guys next week. And we say <laughs> assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam.